Hi everyone, this is Nurse Ryan, and in this video, we're going to very quickly and easily understand how ACE inhibitors, like enalapril, ramipril, most of the pril ending medications, work to treat high blood pressure. This is actually a lot easier if you understand how the renin angiotensinogen aldosterone system works. I'll place a link in the video description of my video that covers it thoroughly. Otherwise, don't worry, we'll quickly review it right here. We need to understand the RAA system because ACE inhibitors work directly in the system. In the event that your body determines that your blood pressure is too low to meet the demands of your body, it needs to somehow bring your blood pressure up to meet those demands. Just for example, if you're stressed or you're exercising, you need more blood flow and more oxygen to your cells. And in order to achieve this, your blood pressure needs to rise. The way that this is accomplished is through the RAA system. Specifically, it's your kidneys that sense the problem and intervene. Your kidneys secrete renin, which is an enzyme. Renin is what gets the system rolling. First, renin needs to find its target, angiotensinogen, which is a protein naturally secreted by the liver. Angiotensinogen doesn't do much on its own, it's basically just floating around in the blood, waiting to be turned into something else. Once renin finds angiotensinogen, it breaks it down into a substance called angiotensin 1. We're about halfway through this process already, so stick with me. Now, angiotensin 1 also doesn't do anything on its own. So again, it floats around in the blood, waiting to be turned into something else. This time, we use a different enzyme, called angiotensin converting enzyme, or ACE for short. ACE converts angiotensin 1 into angiotensin 2. Just as a side note, ACE is mainly found in the capillaries of the lungs. So now, we finally have angiotensin 2 which is what this whole system is about getting to. This is because angiotensin II is what actually helps to raise blood pressure. And remember, we started with a low blood pressure, and now we see that angiotensin II is raising blood pressure. The main ways that angiotensin II raises blood pressure is by constricting blood vessels and increasing the amount of sodium and water in the blood. The more constricted or narrow the blood vessels are, the higher the blood pressure. And the more sodium in the blood, the more water in the blood, because water follows salt, and the more water in the blood, the higher the blood volume, which leads to a higher blood pressure. Finally, let's talk about how ACE inhibitors work to inhibit the RAA system and help to lower blood pressure. Remember, ACE refers to the angiotensin converting enzyme that we needed in the RAA system. Again, ACE converted angiotensin 1 into angiotensin 2. How ACE inhibitors work is actually very simple. It's right there in the name. ACE inhibitors are angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors. They bind to and inhibit or block ACE from working. So if we shut down this part of the system, we can't convert angiotensin 1 into angiotensin 2. So we get stuck at angiotensin 1, which again doesn't do anything on its own. So we don't get any of those blood pressure raising effects that we talked about earlier. Instead, we end up with more dilated or open blood vessels, with less sodium and water in the blood, which means our blood pressure effectively goes down. And just so that you know where that extra sodium and water goes, it simply leaves the body through the urine. This is why ACE inhibitors are often used in the treatment of high blood pressure, also known as hypertension. They can also be used in combination with other medications for the treatment of heart failure. And that's about it for how ACE inhibitors work to treat high blood pressure. If you have any questions or would like me to cover a specific drug or topic, please let me know in the comments and thanks for watching.